So this prior example was the first time where I varied the pattern on the ride symbol. And we, we talk about, there's a term that we use in music which we call clave. And that word has many meanings. Clave is these two wooden sticks. Clave is the rhythm that they play. But in a more general sense, I think clave is the skeleton that a particular music uh, revolves around. So if I'm playing funk music, the clave is And drummers can play whatever they want as long as the listeners aren't searching for that. As long as they can find that and feel that, the drummer can have all kinds of liberty. When I listen to great Cuban drummers, uh, I know this is infecting what they're doing, even when I don't hear it so clearly. But I know that's the skeleton that all the the variations are hanging on. And in jazz, it's the cymbal beat. So you want to cultivate a really strong cymbal beat and to be able to play everything without varying the cymbal beat. But then it's okay to vary the cymbal beat as long as the listeners aren't searching for more of it. As long as the the melodic material you're playing between the snare drum and bass drum and hi-hat aren't clouding the picture so much that people can't feel the swing in your playing. So it's okay to play ding 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 ding. That's perfectly cool. But when I practice, I wanna I wanna eliminate the friction between my limbs that would make me have to change the symbol pattern in order for a phrase to be able to, to continue. So uh, Tony Williams said he wants to be able to play everything without changing the symbol pattern. But then when he played, he just played music. And if some phrase down here required the symbol pattern to vary in order to, to, to flower, in order to maintain the groove, then the symbol pattern would vary. But the dance of the pattern, the feeling of that dance is there whether you're playing ding dig a 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 ding or bang dig a ding dig a ding a ding dig a ding dig a ding ding dig a ding dig a ding ding dig a ding dig a ding dig a ding dig a ding ding dig a ding dig a ding dig a ding dig a ding the dance is still there. And so I never really practiced, for example, playing paradiddles between the snare drum and bass drum and playing the cymbal backwards, or playing the cymbal in 3-4. But sometimes that's what happens when I play, because that, that variation helps hold everything else together. So I think of the cymbal pattern as the glue that holds everything else together, as long as it doesn't feel like it's distorting so much that the listener and the other musicians and the bass player can't feel it.